Hey guys, it's Mrs. Pickett, and um, we're going to just kind of follow up and continue working on division, and, and this time we're going to talk about dividing by two-digit two divisors. So um, we're kind of going to build on what we know already about division, and we're going to actually um, take that. Instead of just using um, tens, we're going to actually use um, two-digit divisors. So let's go ahead and just jump in and get started. So our problem today is um, orchard workers have grapefruit seedlings to plant in 23 equal rows. How many seedlings will be in each row? So we need to know that we have 23 equal rows. And I'm going to tell you that there are a total of 828 grapefruit seedlings. So the two numbers that are going to be helpful for me in this problem are the 23 equal rows and 828 grapefruits. So hopefully you said that because they want to know how many are in each row, we're going to divide them equally. We're going to take 828 and we're going to divide by 23. So... The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our estimation and our compatible numbers to help us kind of gauge what we think our answer might be. So I'm going to take 23, I'm, I'm going to estimate 23 to right about 20, and 828 I'm going to estimate to 800. So now I'm going to divide 80 by 2 which gives me 40. So 800 divided by 20 is also going to be 40. Okay? So now we can use that knowledge and we can actually divide 828 by 23. So using what we know about our, um, our estimation, let's think about what, what our first number might be when dividing 23 by 828. So my first number might be 4. Hopefully you said that. So let's go ahead and put the 4 there and just see what happens. So if I multiply 23 groups of 4, as in my step, you know, my step 2 and my process is multiply. So I'm going to multiply 23 by 4 to get an answer of, so my answer here is 92. So if you look at 92 and you look at 82, hopefully you said, okay, Mrs. Pickett, 92 is bigger than 82, so that is not going to work. Well, you're right. So what we have to do is we have to go down a number. So we are going to go to three instead of four. So let's go ahead and multiply 23 by 3. 23 times 3, so we've got 3 times 3, which is 9, and 3 times 2, which is 6. 69 is going to work. So we're going to take 69, and we're going to subtract, which is going to give me 13. Now my next step, because 13 does not go into 23, my next step would be to bring down my 8 to get 138. So 138 is my next number that I need to divide by 23. So if we go back to my estimate, I know that I said 0 um, was 40 was a 0. And so I know that 0 is not going to work because I know that 23 goes into 138 at least a couple times. So think since we took our 4 to a 3, I wonder if maybe we're going to be pretty close to 40. So I'm going to just shoot for 6, I think. I'm going to say um, 23 times 6 and see what happens. So if I take a, uh, 23 times 6, I'm going to get... 138. So then I'm going to take 138 subtracting from 138 to get 36 with no remainder. So 828 divided by 23 is going to equal 36. So if we think back to our estimation of 40, was our estimation uh, accurate? Yes. And our answer is also going to be reasonable because 36 is pretty close to 40. 
Guys, thanks so much for watching. And your joke for today is, which is faster, heat or cold? See you soon.